All right, we're gonna be doing some fishing in my backyard here. As usual, I'm waiting for it to sizzle. I'm gonna be using some subscriber lures today. Starting off with this frog again, which I still haven't caught anything on. Forget who sent it to me now. Steven Sharif, maybe? I need to catch a fish on this frog. Then we're gonna go over to the, uh, that old school Rapala, and then we got some sort of minnow uh, a young fella sent me. So we're gonna get started with this frog. Well, that surely didn't work. Let's uh, go see how Dar Sizzle's doing. What's up, guys? Today we're doing some fishing uh, behind our backyard here. Today was a work day for us. We had to stay indoors. Oh! Oh, I just got blown up on. Oh, I got to throw it right back there. Okay, um, so today was a work day for us and I had to stay indoors because I had a lot of orders to complete for Christmas and sending out calendars and bracelets and stuff. And uh, yeah, so this afternoon we decided to do a little bit of bass fishing in our backyard and then we're gonna do mail time. So stick around for that for sure. And hopefully I catch a fish right now. What's this thing? Not a very good frog. You know, the great thing about my fans, which is obviously you guys, you guys provide us a lot of great tips and techniques, especially after, you know, I go fishing. For instance, like the snakehead fishing trip I went on, a lot of you guys provided so many great tips um, as far as frog fishing goes. So I'm going to be throwing this frog, this topwater frog here, all black. And a lot of you said that the streamers here are usually too long, and a lot of those hits I got from the snakeheads, it ended up, um, you know, just biting on the legs here, but not actually getting anywhere close to the lure. So I'm going to go with your guys' opinion, um, with your guys' suggestions, and I'm going to go ahead and cut the legs on this right now. That's a lot shorter. That's probably like an inch I cut off. So we'll see what happens right now. I'm going to be trying this minnow that is a viewer sent to us. Thank you very much. Looks like it might work. It's weedless. This uh, canal, as we've mentioned before, has just a ton of weeds and stuff in it. So it really needs to be weedless. I'm, I want to try that Rapala minnow, but it's got those trouble hooks on it. So I'm not sure how it's going to work. But we're going to try this thing. Uh, thank you very much. First fish for me. On a little popper. I ended up switching the frog off. I wasn't getting any hits on it. and. Um, just decided to use a popper and I let it pa I, I paused the lure for a little longer than I would have liked and that's when I got the hit so I think I need to slow it down on the popper and um, I'll catch some more fish but there is fish blowing up back here and I got that big hit on the first frog I was using so I think I can catch some bigger fish than this guy but he's cute I'm gonna get him off the hooks he's buried Yes, the gambler is working right now. Second fish for me, I switched up my popper. Whoa, somebody's grumpy over here. <laughs> I just switched up my popper because um, I can't really cast it. It's such a teeny lure. And I just put on the gambler easy swim, the little easy, sorry, gambler lures easy, uh, little easy swimmer. And it's the ghost shad color, if I can get this hook out. And um, what I'm doing, because there's so much heavy cover and weeds back here, I decided to just start steady retrieving the gambler on top water. And then it was like right by the side of the bank, and I dropped it down and I watched this fish come out of the weeds and just swallow it. And I gave him like one second and he inhaled it. So here he goes back, fish number two. Whoa, he just did a jump at everything. Killing it over here. What is that? A lot of action over here, a lot of action. I don't see any action. There's action. I don't have any action. There's action. He's having a lot of trouble. He's having bait caster trouble. You guys still need to give him this some tips. A little, this lure has good action, but it's a little light. Yeah. You guys... Whoa. You guys need to give him some tips on that. I'm also going to start using bait casters more often. She's a college graduate but. now. She's so damn... So darn smart. Oh, God. She's a good smarty pants catching fish. He said who? <laughs> Brian always has luck with the gambler, so that's why I'm trying to help him out. She's copying me. That's how she's catching fish, in other words. Ugh. I am, meanwhile, listen, I am using your guys' lures. I am trying new stuff. Hey. Who is with you? I'm with you guys. Hey. I'm using the lures. I think this you lure go, is a little light for his baitcaster. It's but not he's too light. It I just needed to get it He's going. trying it anyways. So, but. I'm going to get it. Where's my gamblers? I'm the gambler king. Too bad. I got it first. 
All right, I gotta go get them gamblers. I'll go get them. Go fish. They're in the back, and they're in the uh, they're in that plastic container by the uh, couch. <sighs> mail mail time. time. Before we get to mail time, really quick, if you're struggling trying to figure out some last minute Christmas ideas and holiday gifts, and you want to support Dar Sizzle Offshore, well, I have some gifts for you guys. That is great for people of all ages, women and children, men, you name it, they'll love it. And some of the stuff that I do have, I'm sure you already know, but I just want to mention it one more time. This is actually one of the last dates that you can order these things from me and get it in time for Christmas. And check it out, I've got a ton of anchor and fish hook bracelets with all different color paracords and all different color charms. You can see they're gold and silver, antique brass, gunmetal black. I also have some high quality charms that you can check out on my website. I've got really nice bracelets. They fit like this. They are adjustable. They'll fit any size. And if you want to order them for a child, someone you know that's under the age of 15, just write a note in the uh, note to seller section and let me know and I'll actually make it a little smaller so it will fit the kids. Um, so just so you know. Then I also have 2017 Dar Sizzle calendars for sale. I have salt water. I have a bass and freshwater edition with some lovely high glossy pictures of my fishing adventures this past year. And um, you can check that out on my website as well. I have large calendars and I have small calendars. This is the large. So if you have any, anybody that loves my show or loves Star Sizzle and you need to get them a gift, this is a great gift. <laughs> I also have the saltwater calendar right here. And saltwater calendar I've been making for three years in a row now, but I decided to do a freshwater edition for you bass guys and a saltwater for everybody that also wants to support my adventures and would like a lovely calendar in their house or their work or whatever. Um, so check it out. Everything is on my website. Check out the description below, darsizzleoffshore.com, but I'll have links to the specifics for all the jewelry and the calendars and whatnot. Cool. All right. So now to mail time. Uh, this great plaque we got from Phil Cusimano, which commemorates Darcy's being the best angler in the world competition. It's official. <laughs> it's it's official. official. And I even showed it again today. Now, yeah, now i got to put I'm it on the best, wall. Yeah. <laughs> so. I'm the best angler in the world. It's official. Any plaque that's made, yes, it's, it's official. Fish. Yes. So thank you, Phil. Thanks. We, Thanks, Phil. We opened it up with my family on our graduation day. It was really fun opening up the package. And we're like, oh, look at this. So thank you very much, Phil. We appreciate very, it's it. It's great and funny. It's a great gift. And, yeah. Uh, it's going on the it's wall. A, it's the best angler in the world, Darcy Arahill, Darcy Love Shore, presented by Phil Guzamano. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. That's <laughs> funny. What? <laughs> no. Don't be that I want to be the best angler. Oh, no, Phil. Phil. You're going to have to fix this. Somehow. No, i got to catch more fish. He's I, upset I, I now. think I got to. He's that's upset all over here. I'm gonna, how about if I can be the best character, best our sizzles cameraman in the world there you go there you go that, that, that's all right so my first letter is from bill thomas from charlotte north carolina let's see what we got merry christmas and happy new year bill he's got a nice trout here and he wrote a little lovely letter on the back just wanted to say hi and how much i enjoy your youtube broadcasts Awesome. Thank you so much, Bill. Thanks a lot, man. That's Great like a Christmas card. Yeah. So you can send us Christmas cards, too. It doesn't matter if they get late. Yeah. And this is a good time for me to remind everybody, this is my birthday month. My birthday is December 28th. Yes. Don't, don't have to send anything. Yeah. Don't have to send anything. He has the worst birthday in the world. You know why? Because his birthday is three days after Christmas and exactly three days before New Year's. No one gathers. Nobody gathers. All Nobody right. gets some presents. Poor Brian. <laughs> I'm gonna, I heard I'm getting like 15 bracelets this year. Oh, man. And a cow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my turn. This is from Terry Crawford. Oh, we know Terry. Yes. Terry's great. Yes. Sports a field. Wow. Looks pretty. I keep it with this cardboard. Look at it. Keep it straight. Oh, man. Pretty old school. Looks cool. We got a nice letter with yeah. it. Yeah. It, uh, it's, excuse me. It's my turn. <laughs> Let me get my old man glasses. I've been trying to find something to send to you that in the PO box that you might have some fun with. Well, we'll check. Uh, we'll put this up on the board. We'll check it out. But uh, you know, this is like an old school Darcy here. There's a girl fishing, and she's in a bikini. Yeah. And uh, this is like. And he's this taking is like, pictures of her. That's funny. And it looks like he's got. Yeah, it's like a kingfish. What is that? A pike? It looks like a kingfish, but it's in fresh water. I think maybe it's like a pike. Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, this is like Darcy's grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Thanks, man. We'll check this out. This is awesome. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Okay, next one doesn't have a name on it. Just got an address. So we're going to see what it is. All right, I've got a letter. 
Whoa. Whoa, the long one. Very nice. Darcy and Brian, watching you all for a couple years now. Love your stuff. Can't wait for your next episode. Me, 17 years fishing and around for Pierce. Moved with daughter and new husband to Ocala 12 years ago. Very cool. So those are like a little story here. And uh, another handwritten note. We're getting a lot of handwritten notes. That's very great. Very cool. Yeah. Thank you so much, Bill. Bill from uh, Florida. Ocala. Well, yeah. <laughs> Florida. Ocala. I will take, well, thank, thank you, you so much, Bill. I will read this um, later on after this video. And I'll put it on a wall. Yes. The wall is blocked right now by our Christmas tree, so We're we'll not get using back to our that. wall. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get back to that after the holiday. Yes. Thank you. All right, next thing is from John Sorrentino from Corum. You guys are big fans, and I know that you guys supported me and bought a calendar. Thank you. Oh, awesome. Thank you. And Corum, if anyone knows, is on Long Island. It's in the middle of the state there, and it's about middle of the island there. And it's about 20 minutes from where I uh, grew up. Corum, uh, they used to have a, they have a movie theater there or something. I don't, I don't remember. Struggling over here. Struggling. <laughs> Struggling with scissors. <laughs> Well, this is very dangerous. Yes. You know, it's gift, it's gift opening. Yes. That's like heavy duty tape. I need a knife. Yeah. I need scissors. He's not even using the tools that he's supposed to use. What is he doing over here? I'm gonna cut my arm off. He's gonna things. break them. What do we got? What do we got? Whoa! Whoa! I see tsunami. 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 We love tsunami. Whoa! I gotta start looking. Oh, you got a popper, the oh, popper. Nice. Popper. Very cool. And what do you got there? Another popper. Another popper. Yo, Darcy loves the popper. I love the popper. There's a bag of pop. Oh, man. You really hooked us up. John. Wow. And a card. Nice old Let's... crankbait here. It looks like it oh, can use look it for saltwater and fresh water. No, show it again. You didn't show it. <laughs> Whoa. Yes, bucktail jigs. Buck we need tail. those. We need those. Oh. Another popper. You're making Check this out this frog. That's a very interesting looking frog. That's oh, gonna kill some fish. And this is gonna make me feel right at home. Look, playing cards for Long Island. That's awesome. Thank you very much. You That's got very, a very. I know, I know. Well, it's for both of us. Yeah. Just as and Brian, but I'm gonna open it because it's my turn. Yeah. Wow, you guys really, you really. That's sent a, lot us a lot of stuff, stuff bro. John, thank That's a lot you. Of stuff. Whoa, we got a whole thing here. Glasses. John, uh, 28 surf and fresh water. Love watching your channel. Have to admit, I started watching the Florida girl in a bikini headlines, but stay for the awesome videos. Thank you. And you know what we always say? Click for the thumbnail, stay for the fishing. Yep. Right? <laughs> we don't mind why you're watching, just keep watching. Yeah. Uh, as practice, I figured I'd send some plugs that I have had luck with. And I'm a big north and largemouth, blah, blah, blah. And love yes, you. and I also want to mention, by the way, I loved your filet video on Mahi Mahi. Never knew about the rinsing in salt water. Um, fresh thing. Yeah. Some more filet vids, please. So any of you that didn't check out our Mahi video, be sure to check that out. The link will be up in the upper right hand corner um, if you haven't watched it already. But I do, yeah, keep on catching. But I did a really great Mahi Mahi video and there's some tips and tricks for you there for you to learn. I'm not going to tell you, you got to go watch it. I mean, really nice. Thanks, John. And, and you know, John brought up the point about the salt water rinsing. And you know, they I'm just going to point out that uh, you know, we're all, you know, we can all learn, to, everybody can learn some tip from somebody else, you know, so, uh, so it's great that John, who's been fishing for years, it seems, and have all these great picks for lures, you know, he knows how to fish, but, you know, he learned a little bit of something from Darcy, and we're learning a little bit about lures from him, and, uh, you know, that's awesome, that's what the community is all about. Good point. Thank you very, very much, and you also mentioned you like my camera video, uh, thank you very much about that, John, too, that's great. We're going to put this uh, in our card section. We're and definitely going to be trying these out real soon. I might have caught a fish today, maybe, and this, beat her. She got two this fish today, I caught zero. is going to catch peacock bass. I know it. Yes. I just got to find an area where there's no weeds. Perch color These are all going to catch. It. They're all going to catch. These are, awesome. good. These are great. These are great selection Thank of lures you. here, honestly. Thank you very, very much. What do we got next? This one is from Ta Charles Driggers Big. from Griffin, Georgia. He comments, Charles comments yes, all the time on YouTube. Yes. Man, you guys are great. Lucky Tackle Box box here. Very cool. Never heard of them. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're signed up for their uh, it's boxes. To, yeah, it's not a bad way to get the different lures, try different things yeah, out. Yeah, like so expand your Tackle Box, try some new stuff, see what's popular, you know. They got a ton of tips on their videos, too. All right, here we go. Whoa, you sent us a ton of stuff, Charles. Oh, my gosh. All Whoa. right, before we check that out, stop, 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 stop. 
Yes, Darcy and Brian, just thought I would send you both some lures to help you out. Love your channel and find it very entertaining. I'm from Charleston, South Carolina, so I can understand the salt and freshwater fishing thing. Learn what you can when you can. There's so many techniques that I see that I see you could use. You have a lot of resources that can help. Cool. So you, cool. Awesome. There's a, added a few other secrets that might work for you. Keep up the good work, and we'll see you on Facebook. Yeah. Thank you, Charlie. Awesome. All right, so here Let's we go. Oh, he really hooked us up. Look at this. I can't believe how much stuff is in here. Show it. I'm showing it. Kevin Van Dam, a square bill crankbait. We're going to start using these more. Just got to get out of the weeds. Look at this monster spinnerbait. Whoa, Whoa. That's going to be a big fish on that. Nice. I like this one. This one's that cute. That was nice. That's that's actually like bite size. That's a nice Darcy one. like the pretty one. She likes the shiny little Yeah. Leaf. She falls for that. I do. Here you go. Oh, a little popper. Nice. Little no, that's a lip diver. Lip sorry. Not Big college girl knows all of the little now. What? You can totally see a lip on that thing. <laughs> he doesn't know what he's talking about. Another perch color. Very cool. Very similar to a perch. The lip. Awesome. And, and a lot of zoom baits. A lot of zoom. Soft plastics. We Can't can go always wrong. use those. Yep. Always Fresh use those. and salt. These work. You know, people using these soft plastics in, in the salt water a lot down here. I don't know if you guys use them up north in the salt, but they work. Awesome. Thank you, Charlie. Look really at this appreciate one. appreciate it. I know it's another perch color. Very similar to a perch. That's going to catch some fish. Heck yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. These are great baits. Yeah. Let's make sure Brian does not throw this off in two casts. So I'm not gonna like let him use it. You guys listening to this? If you ever watch the videos with him bait casting and putting on spinning baits, two casts later, boom, the whole thing breaks off and it's gone. So you know what? I'm gonna use this first and catch a fish, and then he can use it and break it off. I object. <laughs> I object to this line of. Just saying. This yeah. argument. I object to this closing argument. <laughs> Whatever. All right, whatever. I got the last one here. It's from Austin Porter in Miami, Florida, right down the road. Let's see what we got. There we go. That's how a college graduate opens the box. What's up with these college <laughs> graduate jokes? Whoa, 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 what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Getting jiggy with it. Check We're it getting out. jiggy. Look at all these colors. Oh my white. gosh. <gasps> you know my favorite color is a bucktail jig. It's white and white. I have to get to the bottom. <laughs> I have to get to the bottom. Check this out. <gasps> these custom rigs. What is this for? Was there a letter? You threw the letter. Brian no. threw the Find letter. letter. Brian, it's an emergency. He threw the letter, okay? He was packing. He was on the packing. floor. Sorry about that. All right. Get in jiggy. Sizes. Austin Porter. I sent sizes. you guys did some... Set, I saw you guys do did some chicken rig fishing the other day. I made you two rigs how I do it. I've lost less fish since I learned about it. Also, fish around the full moons on those deeper wrecks and you'll be more successful. And he gave us the specifics on the chicken rig. 60 pound main line leader, 40 pound lead, 40 pound leader to the hook, adjust accordingly, and a 6 mustad, mustad hook. Gotta use the mustad hook. Nice. Very important. Jigs. I told you I would send you some jigs, a few styles and colors for you all. Also, Brian, I threw some white ones in there for you too. Nice. Thank you. I'm not awesome. I will definitely check out your site, gettingjiggyusa.com. Very all right, cool. Here it is. All right. Oh, and we have stickers. So this is where the lures, I guess he makes his own lures, right? So it's getting jiggy. Here it is. Go go to the website. This this is a uh, fan of ours that sends us these great jigs. So we try them out online. Captain Austin Porter from gettingjiggyusa.com. Very nice. Thank you. You can always and use And he's those. got these social media places. These are social media things. See that? No, there's this big glare on it. Big, oh, there it goes. All right? Cool. It's getting jiggy, fishing jigs, getting yeah. jiggy, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Awesome. Thank you, Austin, Captain Austin. Really nice. Yeah, we're, tr we're definitely trying these. Definitely trying I've these. I've been begging him to go bottom fishing forever now, so we, we got to do it one of these days. The other days. day, but these look nice. The other day, these that was like nice. a month ago. <laughs> all right, guys, uh, we're going we're gonna to wrap it up. Thank you so very much for all the gifts um, and, and presents and, and Christmas stuff. Uh, we can't wait. You know, some of that stuff, we got the cards, the Christmas cards. It, it's just really great and really appreciate it. Uh, I want to give you a little heads up on what's going on. Tomorrow, we got a big 
family event um, up in up in Stewart, and it's going to be one of the one of the few times, only about once every year or two, all her siblings get together. So it's really going to be great. We're going to go fishing in the morning and try and catch some fish for you guys, and then in the afternoon we got this party, family party, and we're not going to be doing a ton of filming there because it's you know it's a big family time. It's family time. Um, I, I we are going to get some shots of all the kids together, so you'll enjoy that. Uh, and then Monday we got a little bit of the same, so we'll have some family stuff. We're also going to do some fishing. And then, uh, you know, it's going to be great. Now, I will say, I'll give you a warning, if you care or not, but next weekend, it's Christmas. My sister's also going to be here. Um, and, and so, you know, not a lot of people, uh, you know, anyway, it's a holiday. We're not going to have videos probably for two or three days. I'm telling you right now, okay? Hmm. Like Christmas Day, the day after Christmas. So maybe for two or three days. Yeah. So, I'm just saying. It's Christmas. And I just want to say really Don't watch YouTube on Christmas. Be with your family. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to say really quick, the party tomorrow is a graduation party um, for me and my, actually my cousin who graduated, just recently graduated from college too. So it's kind of like a family party slash graduation party. My dad's one of the kids, so I've got a ton of family and all my siblings are going to be there. So yeah. So it should it's, be fun. So it's going to be awesome. Yeah. Um, and, and a warning about next week. But this week we got a big full week of fishing. Darcy's not in school. We're going to have a great time. And so we'll, we'll be there right with you and we'll bring you guys along. But anyway, that's about it. Follow your dreams and keep on catching. Keep on catching. <laughs> Good job. <laughs>